everyone. So I just wanted to take a couple minutes to explain what you need to do to complete the trifles assignment for this week. Go ahead and bring that up here. All right, so um, here in the assignment area, you're gonna see these two videos. This one might look a little different, picture might change, um, but this is just the instruction video that you're watching now. And underneath that one is another YouTube video uh, of a group of people putting on a play called Trifles by Susan Plastel, right? So this will come in handy here in just a moment. For this assignment, um, you're gonna read a one act play, Trifles by Susan Glasgow. It's on pages 816 to 826 of the textbook. Um, if you don't have access to the textbook yet, you can Google uh, trifles full text and you know, you'll, you'll find plenty of options to be able to read the play, right? This video up here, right, is of a group of people putting on this one act play. So you can watch that as you read the play or after you've read the play. Um, I would say don't just watch the video without also reading the play, either after, you know, before or after or at, at the same time as you're watching the video, because it's, this is a YouTube video. It's not like it's a movie. Um, it's not the highest quality. The sound is not necessarily stellar. Um, so I don't want you to miss important elements um, because you haven't also read the play. So you do want to read it, but watching it is super helpful as well. Most drama is intended to be consumed as a live performance, right? So it's important to read it so that you don't miss anything due to the quality of the video. But Susan Glassbell wrote this as a play intending for us to watch it, not read it, okay? So definitely it's fine if you're watching, but read along too, because again, it's not like it's an actual movie, right? Um, it's like not even a half hour long. <laughs> so it's a pretty short video, pretty short play. Uh, reading it and watching it is not gonna take up a huge amount of time. Um, and it's an interesting little play. Once you have read it and or watched it, then you're gonna move to task two. Um, task two asks you some general questions about the play. Do not use any outside resources to answer these questions. First of all, again, if you've watched it and read it, you're gonna be able to answer these. Second of all, even if you watched it and read the play and you're still not sure about some of these answers, just give it your best shot because you're graded based on your effort, not on whether you are correct or not. I just want you to try on your own to answer some basic questions about the play. No outside resources. Question one is, explain the play, how the play's title relates to the story. So you may need to look up the definition of the word trifles and then Think about that definition and how it relates to the, the plot of the play. If you have to look up the definition though, make sure that you are not looking at the definition that is about a, a dessert. Trifles are a type of dessert. That's not the type of trifles we're talking about here. All right, so if you have to look up the definition, make sure you're looking up the correct type of definition uh, and then think about how it relates to the play and answer question one. Question two, why are Mrs. Peters and Mrs. Hale so concerned about the quilt and whether Mrs. Wright was going to quilt it or not it? And to answer that question, you wanna think about what Mrs. Wright has been accused of, right? So think about what Mrs. Wright has been accused of and then think about why these two women were so concerned about whether Mrs. Wright was going to quilt it or not it, the quilt she was working on. Question three, how would you characterize the men in this play? Be specific and thorough with all of your responses here, but how would you characterize the men? Question four, what sort of person was Minnie Foster, i.e. Mrs. Wright, 
before she got married. What do we learn about her, the way she used to be when she was younger? And then what do you think happened to her? Because that's how she is, what we learn of her now when the, when the play is actually taking place, she's a much different person. So what do you think happened to her? Question five, describe your reaction to the decision made by Mrs. Peters and Mrs. Hale to hide the dead bird from the men. These two ladies, they come across a dead bird and it is of significance. And perhaps it was something that they should have shown the men, but they choose not to. What is your reaction to their decision? Did they do the right thing? Explain your answer with a thorough response. All right, so again, um, these questions, you know, you definitely have to have read and watched the play to be able to answer them, but just give it your best shot. If you're off the mark, I will let you know. You'll still get full credit for trying. And then next week in week two, I will go over this play and, you know, sort of explain what it's all about and what information you need to understand about it for the short uh, or for the drama and poetry exam in week four, because this play will show up on that first exam in week four. So, but I will go over all of that next week. But for this assignment, just read the play, watch the live version of it if you want and do your best to answer these questions without the use of outside resources except possibly looking up the definition of tritis okay all right try to have that in by sunday night um if you have questions run into any problems definitely let me know um otherwise i hope you guys uh enjoy it <laughs>